Okay, so this example page was put into the Schoology class to kind of for two reasons. One, to get to the point that one can create content in Schoology itself using pages. And then second, to show some of the basic editing features available in uh, on a Google page. So here's a Google page, it's about Gmail. I would tell my students about Gmail. Here are links to resources, here's some screenshots. The content's not important. We're just looking at how one makes this in Schoology. So I had just copied this in from somewhere else because I didn't want to take the time in class to go through step by step by step. But if I go into edit mode, gear, edit page, open this page for editing. It's all some pretty basic stuff. This is a big graphic. I just inserted it. I had it saved somewhere else on my computer. I used the insert content, image media. I navigated to where that file was saved, uploaded it, and then selected it, and that becomes part of the page. And I could resize it, but it automatically resizes it uh, when it's displayed in the frame. And then the rest, most of it is just text. So this is just plain text. It's just a paragraph style. This about FCPS Gmail is a heading. Headings are important when we build pages or docs in Word or Google Docs. Um, they help with accessibility. They help with screen readers. They organize the content on the page. So rather than, you know, if I, that's a totally different rabbit hole to go down. So use headings to chunk your content. And in Schoology, any piece of text can be changed into plain text, paragraph text, or headings. So this heading is about how to access it. Notice that this content has been placed into a bulleted list that was a numbered list. There are some URLs, so I would type paste in the HTTPS and then I'd come up here to the inline link button, put in the URL. If I want to open a new tab, I would check that. The text to display, the the, the actually the text that's on the page that the student clicks would be that, and then save. And then just another image, more headings, bulleted list, more links. And so the content is there on the page, text, numbered list, bulleted list, hyperlinks, images, and notice the content based on the article we read is chunked. So there are no huge paragraphs. It's in different sections. Um, it's relatively easy to scan. It's relatively easy to read. And all of that content lives here on the Schoology page, which gives us some accessibility options uh, that we'll get into in class number two. So quick video about creating content on a Schoology page.